Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shivy Boy back on the channel. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into this. Um, well, aside from the fact that I don't have my glasses on, I don't know. I mean, I can put my glasses on, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, but no, I'm just gonna get right into this. Um, it's not gonna be too long because I got about maybe an hour or so before I gotta go to work, so. Um, but basically, um, so when I made the video on, about Slap Train and my issues with him and everything, I had mentioned that I was going to be doing one, um, talking about Black Panther also, and <laughs> yeah, no, you, you guys already know by the title of the video, the thumbnail and everything, um, so I'm just going to get right into it. But anyway, so I guess my biggest question is like, what is what is it between the two of you guys, or between you and EK Drifter Black Panther? I I don't get it, man. Um, like <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what you guys. I don't know what the problem is. Like, why you keep making digs at him? You know why? You insult him and such like that. Like, please explain that to me. Um, I mean, my experience, you know, watching his videos and talking to him, you know, through, like, Facebook and Twitter and stuff. He's a really cool guy. So, what's your beef with him, dude? I don't get it. Um, I, I don't understand your issue. Um, and to expand on that, like... Is it because, like, okay, what's your, what's your deal with the whole, like, furry community and everything? Like, I myself am a furry. Okay. I don't get your problem with the community. Um, oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Um, people on my channel who don't know that I am, I am, um, I guess I didn't know how you guys were going to take that. So, yeah. Um, if it's weird, I don't know. You know, if you think it's cool, you know, you know, cool. So, yeah, <laughs> um, I don't know. I am so, but no, dude. Like, I don't understand you, man. Like, why? Why do you have weird feelings toward the furry community? Also, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what did they ever do to you? You know, is it just because you view them as being like the stereotype that everybody thinks they are? You know. That they're inappropriate, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go into it because, um, I know that, like, my little brother watches this and such, but, um, you know, and he's only, like, 13, 14, so, I mean, I'm not going to exactly expand upon what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure you can get what I mean. Um, but no, like, what's your deal with the community? Like, I was watching your Need for Speed 2015 let's play and at the very end of it you know where they take a group photo and everything you made a major stink about the fact that they put a furry mask on the guy like you know that made no sense like what the heck dude I mean, I kind of wondered right away if the main character was supposed to be inspired by EK because of the fact that he wears blue. Like, every time you can see a piece of his clothing, like his sleeves or whatever, it's a blue hoodie. It's a blue hoodie. Okay, and the wolf mask? That was supposed to be his old persona before he, you know, decided to change it to Drift Panda, right? His new persona. So I don't understand what the heck your problem is. Um, explain that to me. But then also... Um, do you have issues... With him because of like his sexuality or what? Um, because... Not, not so much I guess recently, but... Like when you do videos with like... Maddie C. Um, for your Need for Speed 2015 stuff... 
You know, you'd be like, oh my god, did you just assume gender? Like, oh my god. You know, and you'd make a big deal out of it. Like, what the heck? You know, I mean, I know people that are uh, transgender. I have friends that are transgender and stuff like that. Um, And, you know, I may or may not be. So, <laughs> um going to leave that up to you, I guess, to uh, decide what you want to make of that. But, um, no, I, I don't understand your beef with him. Um, <laughs> and his video yesterday that he put out, he kind of made a little bit of a dig at you. You know, he kind of kind of stuck a, stuck a pin in you a little bit. Because <laughs> um, if you didn't watch that, uh, he built a jag. F type and he got to the wing and he's like, well, I'm not gonna put a big wing, put a big wing on it. Excuse me, like some YouTubers, you know, um, and ruin the look of it. And to be honest, I think I kind of agree with him because, you know, when you throw a big wing on a car that doesn't necessarily need it, the big wang gang, you know, whatever the heck that means. I mean, okay, some cars, a big spoiler looks are right. You know, like the Dodge Viper ACR. If it comes on the car, it looks okay. But if it's aftermarket, eh. You know, unless it really functions to push downforce and everything, like most wings do, then um, then in that sense, I think it's okay. But, like, just throwing a massive wing on, like, an old Camaro or, you know, like in Pro Street, you know, in the first few um, races that you do in the desert and such, there's a 70 Chevelle with a wing on it. And I just kind of, like, shook my head and, like, you know, what the heck. But, um, no, like, I, I, again, I don't know why you put big wings on it. I guess if that's your thing, that's your thing. You know, it's the same thing with the slap train and stancing everything. Like, oh, my God, you know, massive camber, bro. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I don't get the styling choices, but again, that's your choice, you know. Um, but something I want to reiterate from the video that I did where I kind of called out Slap Train was the fact that, uh, I don't know, you, you um, like, the stance stuff, I, I don't understand. The camber stuff, I don't get. But the whole thing with the muscle cars, you're like, you know, my favorite muscle car is a 69 Camaro. Okay. You know, I mean, I fell in love with the 69 Camaro, specifically the Yenko Camaro, because of Too Fast, Too Furious. And if you don't know, the Yenko Camaro was basically a stock SS396 car where they put better suspension on it. You know, I think they put better tires on it, um, changed out the rear end gear. You know, I think it was like a 373, and then they threw a 410 rear gear in it. Which, if you don't know, the higher the number, the quicker it accelerates. Basically. So, like, a 410 gear would accelerate quicker than, say, a 273 highway gear. Right? Um, but, yeah, no. So, I don't understand your choice uh, to call, like, muscle cars, you know, boats. They're big, heavy boats, but yet you love muscle cars, so... I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, I don't understand that. Like, I mean, I've been watching your Need for Speed uh, payback stuff, and <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think calling the Corvette, um, the C7, I think it was a Grand Sport that you bought. I think calling that car a, basically, like, a GM Berlinetta was, yeah, I mean, it was pretty accurate, but I don't know. That's just me. Um... But anyways, so, no, dude, I mean, like, please, again, explain to me, I'm getting off track here, no, explain to me what your beef is with EK, you know, whether it's something about him or something he does, you know, the fact that he's a furry, I don't know, explain that to me, please, because I don't understand, um, like, you made a post on Instagram or Snapchat or something with you, with a panda filter that made fun of him, um, about a year or so back and the only reason I saw it was because it was on Facebook um he didn't 
talk about it, but no, like what what is this butting heads thing you guys got going? I I can't fathom because I guess you guys used to be like really tight, like really good friends or whatever, but you guys have issues. Um, I don't know, man. Again, please explain it to me. Um, like, I just want to understand, you know, I want to help get to the bottom of this, kind of diffuse the situation. And, you know, if you guys were friends, you know, once maybe you guys could be friends again. I don't know. But I guess that would take um, a little bit of humility uh, from both sides. And from what I know of EK, he's a pretty humble, down-to-earth guy. Um... Not saying you're not, but from what I've seen, eh, that's debatable. Um, especially when you're like, you know, you're <laughs> like, I know you're just playing around. Like when you were playing pro street and stuff, you're like, man, I'm a drift God, you know, nobody can beat me. Such like that. But when you say that, you know, essentially along the lines of, um, you're the best at need for speed. I don't think so. <laughs> um, the reason I say that is because of one thing, okay? Um, so, in Most Wanted, you bought the Lexus IS300, I believe it was, for your starter car. And you pretty much started upgrading it. Like, almost right away. Uh, right after... Um, oh, Sonny. Number 15 on the blacklist. Now, me... Um, of course, I had a friend tell me about this, but later on, I tried it. I beat up to number 12, Izzy, with the RX-8 on the blacklist with a stock Chevy Cobalt. So, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I beat her in a stock car. And, yeah, so, um... Kind of, kind of just disproved you there, didn't I? <laughs> um, but now, dude, I mean, like in the whole all-wheel drive, you know that thing? Like, what the heck? Like, the Skyline is not the best car in the world. The Supra is not the best car in the world. Um, I mean, like when I think of a Supra, I mean, yeah, you know, I get like flashbacks of the Fast and the Furious and stuff. But more often than not. If you put it up against an American car from the same, you know, era, okay, the Supra, it feels like, took a lot of inspiration, or it might be vice versa, from um, the fourth generation Camaro from 1993 to 1997. The reason I say this is because they both have a similar front end shape. Um, similar, like, body shape, kind of, like, in terms of the silhouette. And the rear end, the rear end is where it differs quite a bit. But, I mean, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm weird. Like, the Skyline reminds me a lot of, um, the later, I guess, quote-unquote, New Edge Mustang from 2000. Or, what is it, from 98 to, like, 03 or something? That reminds me a lot of the New Edge Mustang. Um, yeah, the Mustang, like, <laughs> I, I got a southern drawl going on, but I'm from the mid Midwest, so. Um, but then again, half my family's from the South, so. I guess that uh, could be taken into consideration. But anyhow, um, yeah, no, and also... When we're talking about similarities between cars. <laughs> um, the RX-7, the FD3S generation of RX-7. The one that, you know, was made popular by uh, the Fast and the Furious and Initial D. Um, you know, as driven by Han in Tokyo Drift and Dom in the first film. That car feels like it was heavily heavily inspired by the uh fourth gen firebird from 93 to 97 also um 
And if you don't believe me, um, take a look at these examples of these cars, like front to front, side to side, back to back, and you can see a little bit of the similarity. Like, I mean, a friend of mine, um, we were watching Too Fast, Too Furious, and for the longest time, he thought Suki drove a Viper. And I'm like, what do you mean Suki drives a Viper? He's like, yeah, no, it looks like a Viper. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It's an S2K. And then I thought about it, and I looked at him like, you know, the like late 90s, early 2000s Viper, and I'm like, oh, crap, it does look alike. So, I don't know, maybe Detroit is taking inspiration from Japan or vice versa, but um, personally, again, I don't see the appeal of all-wheel drive. Um, you know, the cars look similar in styling and everything, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's just my opinion. If you want to prove me wrong, then go ahead, you know, uh, compare the cars that I've listed side by side. So the Camaro from 93 to 97, the Supra, the Mustang to the um, R34 Skyline specifically, and the, uh, well, it's the new Edge Mustang. So it'd be the O, or it'd be the 98 to 03 Mustang. So to the R34 Skyline, and then the 93 to 97 Firebird to the um, FD RX-7, but uh, the stock FD, by the way, not something modified like Han's car, because that, that doesn't work, um, but yeah, no, again, I, I keep getting off track, but I don't understand the issue between the two of you guys, like, quit butting heads, you know, he, I, if I remember right, like, I believe he's apologized for whatever issue there may be. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's apologized for it. Why don't you, you know, be the bigger person? Quit making digs at him, you know, quit putting the knife in a little bit deeper and twisting it. You know what I mean? Because all it's going to do is cause issues between you guys. Like, and, I mean... I kind of enjoy watching your content. Like, I've watched, you know, your most wanted videos that were, that were recently, you know, within the past, like, two or three months. I watched your Carbon videos. I watched your Pro Street videos. You know, I mean, shoot, I even watched your Undercover videos, even though there was, like, no story to those involved. And it was just you bombing around in the skyline. But, yeah. um, You know. But, no, I mean, I've for the most part, watched your payback videos, um, except for, like, one or two, you know, I've watched Born, uh, One Fives videos in the entirety for his payback videos, and he up talks you quite a bit, so, I mean, <laughs> you just, you seem a little bit self-confident, like, overconfident is what I mean, you seem overly self-confident and a little bit arrogant, so, but that's just how I've been reading you based on your videos and stuff. You, you know, like reading your personality, reading your emotions, because I'm pretty decent with that. So I can tell when a person's, you know, upset, when they're mad, whatever, just by their body language. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to look at me. You know, and from what I gather from you, you are pretty, I mean, you seem pretty high and mighty on yourself a little bit. If not more, I mean, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here, but, um, but no, dude, like, talk to him, you know, or explain it to me, I don't know. If you want to explain it to me, that's fine. If not, at least just talk to him, you know, sit down with him, figuratively speaking, unless you could make it all the way out to Glasgow, which I don't think you could, but, um, nah, dude, just hash your differences out, man, like, come to a common ground be like okay you know enough of the bs you know enough of the trash enough of the garbage you know the shade throwing the jab or the jabs at each other you know the stabbing the the issues man calm the heck down calm your butt down okay quit being mr you know pointing fingers making jabs taking him off and then I'm watching your videos going, that's not how I see him. 
you know, that's completely off of how I see him. And then, like, I mean, he'll make little, little, you know, small jabs at you, like with the spoiler thing. You know, that's the most recent I've ever seen um, in terms of him making a jab at you. But I don't think he's done it ever. Like, I mean, hardly ever has he done it, but you seem to do it quite frequently. So, um, but yeah, no, dude, just lay off, you know, talk to him a little bit. Um, and if you feel the need to, you know, I would appreciate um being given exact details as to why there's an issue between you guys, why you have an issue, like, again, is it with him and his preferences on certain things? Is it because he's a furry? What is it? Like, and what's your deal with the furry community in general? So, um, yeah, no. But anyways, um, to those of you that do watch this, if you did enjoy this, uh, let me know. Um, like, I guess, uh, if you want to see this issue resolved, like, if it matters to you at all, you know, if, like, if you watch either EK or, uh, Black Panther or both, you know, it, and you also watch me, then I guess, um, send this video Black Panther's way. Um, I know he probably won't be bothered with me, because I'm only, you know, barely 100 subs. Like Slap Train, I mean, Slap Train, as far as I know, didn't take notice of the video, so... Um, I mean, of course, I've also been spamming it, um, on the last couple of his videos, but, yeah, and I've been spamming his Twitter, too, so, um, but now I'll probably end up, um, throwing this video up on YouTube, uh, and hitting his, uh, hitting Black Panther's Twitter with it and seeing if he'll actually respond to it, but, um, now, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, first time watching, um, I try to be a pretty chill person, you know? Um, I l upload a lot of, like, top drives content. If you don't know what that is, it's basically, like, it's like a bench racing thing. If you don't know what bench racing is, you know, it's like talking smack to your buddies about, oh, well, my car can do this, my car's got that kind of thing. But it's like, um, it's like a card-based car game, so, like, you put cars up against each other, uh, you can upgrade them, but you can't, like, customize them or anything. Um, if you don't know what it, what I mean by that, just go through, uh, I have a Top Drives playlist on my channel. I do a lot of CSR Classics. Um, I do some Marvel, uh, gaming content, because I am a big Marvel superhero fan. Um, I like a lot of Ghost Rider, like a lot of Daredevil, you know, Punisher, those guys. Um, so I'm more of an, into an anti-hero kind of thing. But... Um, you know, I did do a lot of Real Racing 3, um, I mean, I can bring that back if you guys want, I did do some Pixel Car Racer, but anyways, um, or no, and one last thing, like, dude, what is, okay, sorry you guys, but one last thing, what is your issue with, you know, man, you should have put the pants sticker on your car, otherwise, you know, you're not cool enough or whatever, I don't get that either, but, no, but, I, I, I don't know, I forgot to mention that, so I kind of threw it in last minute, but anyways, you guys, um, if you did enjoy this, let me know, and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.